In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can join any Minecraft Java Edition server on Nintendo Switch, any of the Xbox One family of consoles, and PS4 and PS5. In this case, I'm going to be using my Nintendo Switch, but you can easily follow along on any of the Xbox One or PS4, PS5 consoles. So first thing, make sure you're closed out of Minecraft and then go to your system settings. Then from there, go to your internet settings from, from there. From this point, you're going to want to choose whichever internet you're using. In my case, I'm using a wired connection, but if you're using, you know, obviously Wi-Fi, then you would want to, you know, click on that. It works exactly the same. Yeah, I'm going to click on wired connection and go to change settings. From here, the only thing you're going to want to do is go to your DNS settings and change that to manual. Now you're going to see a primary DNS and a secondary DNS. You're going to want to go to your primary DNS and put in what I have right here, the 104.238.130.180. So from there, you're going to want to click OK on that and go to your secondary DNS and put in this code right here. However, you can actually just put 1.1.1.1 and it'll come up with this for you. Now, if this secondary DNS happens to not work for you later in the tutorial, I would recommend changing this to 8.8.8.8. And for some people that may fix it. Yeah, for most people this should work, so click OK on that. Then from there you're pretty much good. You can save your settings like that and uh, back out of all of this and then uh, go back into Minecraft. So once you're in Minecraft, you're going to want to click on play, then go all the way over to servers. From here you can pretty much click on any of the, the servers available. Um, but if, if for some reason this doesn't happen to work for you, I would recommend trying to go to a different server as sometimes that does help with this. But in my case, I'm just going to go to the hive loading and then yeah, you should get this pop up. Now, if you get some kind of error, like saying it failed to connect to world or something like that, I would recommend just trying and trying again because sometimes this just doesn't work immediately. Or again, you can also try changing the secondary DNS to 8.8.8.8 and seeing if that works. But yeah, if you've gotten this far, the hard part is pretty much over with. You just have to click connect to a server. Now in the server address here, you're going to want to go ahead and put in geyserconnect.net. So yeah, you can click OK on that. The server port's going to be 19132. For most of you, this will probably be what automatically comes up, so you don't need to change that, hopefully. Display name, uh, you don't really need to put anything in for this, but if you want to, I would recommend just putting like either Geyser or Java Connect, something like that, just to let you know what this is in the future. From here, you can click add to server list so you don't have to type in the IP every single time you want to do this, and then you can click submit. Yeah, it should open up this notice right here. So yeah, the main takeaway I would point out is saying be careful on big java servers such as hypixel their anti-cheats can ban you if you're not careful and we cannot help with ban appeals so yeah if you're playing something like hypixel or anything that has like a very prominent anti-cheat uh it can ban you if you're playing on bedrock edition due to slightly different physics on bedrock but yeah, you can just click submit from there. So from there, you're gonna wanna go over to custom servers, scroll all the way down, go to edit servers, then scroll all the way down again, go to add server. So yeah, you're gonna wanna put the IP in for whatever Java server you wanna join. In my case, I'm gonna use snapcraft.net. Yeah, you can just click okay on that. You, you wanna leave the port the same, 25565, that's gonna be your Java default port there. Uh, leave online mode on, leave bedrock slash geyser server off, and then click submit. From there, you can just click back one time and then scroll all the way down to whatever server you added and click on it. Then from there, you're going to get this pop-up saying log in with a Microsoft account. You're going to want to click on that. And then on some kind of device like a phone or a tablet or a computer, you're going to want to go to that website right there, aka.ms slash remote connect. And you're going to want to put in whatever code it gives you on the and enter this code thing. And you may get some kind of pop-up saying, do you want to trust Geyser Connect or something like that? If you do, you're going to want to say yes. If you do trust, I mean, I personally trust them. Obviously do this at your own risk and I haven't experienced any problems, but you know, do this at your own risk, as I said. 
But yeah, once you get the all done ready to go thing, you should actually just spawn into your server. And yeah, as you can see here, I'm actually in my Java edition uh, Luigi skin. So that's, that's pretty cool that that transfers over. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this tutorial. Leave a like if this did help you and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.